Hey, this is Rich Knapp, Common Joe Flyer Videos. This is more of a new product intro than it is a review or anything. Um, it's for a new Lynx product. It's the Goblin 380 swash plate. Okay, here's uh, the swash plate, the Lynx swash plate. This is Red Devil. I, li I, I like the Red Devil look. You know, when uh, I started flying, it was a really big issue, and everybody was saying that, you know, you had to have your ball links lined up with the, you know, on the swash plate. You had to have your uh, anti-rotation pin lined up with the balls. And um, I'm not saying anything bad about the Goblin uh, swash plate, because that one, you know, the arm comes out straight. It just strikes me odd that they didn't do a swash plate like this where all the balls are lined up. And on the same parallel field for uh, geometry. Um, this is rebuildable, as you see, with three screws made, uh, mounting on the back to hold it. Set up, it'll work real good for DFC, which I'm putting on my Goblin. 380 and uh, with the normal following arms comes with the swa uh, servos two swash links and balls for uh, uh, for on your servo arms now the the ball that comes down to uh, the lower side here you might have to take one off your other swash plate and use them on here if you're going to use the follow arms and stuff um, I've heard some people mention, I haven't, I haven't installed it myself yet, but I heard some people mention that these balls are bigger than the, uh, uh, the Saab one, uh, SAB ones. So uh, you might need to switch these out. If you're running the uh, Lynx DFC on your Goblin 380, then you won't have to worry about it because they'll go right on here. Um, but yeah, if you're running the traditional head and following arms on your 380, then... Uh, these balls you'll have to take and put your ones off your original swash plate onto here I believe but yes use these right here and the balls that are on here and that come in the bag use them for this setup you also need this new anti-rotation guide because of the pin size and the stroke of the swash plate so uh, that'll give you your proper uh, stroke without um, without binding um, this is ultra smooth it comes in um, black silver and red uh, I haven't installed it yet so I don't know about fit but uh, I do know finish wise I've uh, looked at all three um, I had all three in my hand here and uh, the finish on all three of them is just is really really good um, I really like it uh, they come with uh, the anti-rotation pin, they come with uh, the swatch to servo uh, links. Um, that way you can adjust it for the proper length. So I'm putting a red devil on mine. And uh, then once I get it on there and I fly and stuff, I'll kind of, then I'll give a review. Because um, I got enough flights on it with the stock, with the stock swatch plate on there where uh, I'll be able to tell you know how it feels to me for a common Joe flyer um, I did work with the development crew on this uh, I know what the issues were I know what we did for correcting I know what to look for so uh, that's all a plus on my side as far as for understanding the uh, function of it without being a hardcore smack flyer so but uh, yeah I'll uh, I'll give a review on it when uh, I, after I get flying with it and stuff, but that's my uh, uh, new product intro, the 380 Goblin Swashplate by Lynx.